everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you some really cool ways that you can use bobby pins. So instead of hiding them like we normally do, you can actually use them as a fun hair accessory for fall. This is a trend that I've been seeing all over the internet. I think it's super cute and you can really create some fun, awesome designs. You can tailor them to your own style. All you need is a few hair products and duh, some bobby pins. So let's get started. To keep frizzies away, I started off by washing my hair with the Tresemme 7 Day Keratin Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. And then it's time to bust out the Dove Oxygen Moisture Leave-In Foam. This is where I can't contain my inner weirdo because I love playing with this stuff, but it also provides a really great light hold without weighing your hair down. Once that is in my hair, then it's time to brush through and just get rid of any tangles so I can come in and blow dry my hair. For a little more definition, I'm using the Tony and Guy Creative Style Spray Wax. I put a little bit in my hands, run it through my hair, and then I take this front section and pin it back with a bobby pin. For this look, you're gonna need four colored bobby pins of your choice, and I like to take that spray wax and actually spray it onto the bobby pins, and this is gonna help lock your bobby pins in place. And for the best hold, make sure you're inserting your bobby pins bumpy side down. So you can see that I'm just creating a little hashtag shape here. This is super easy to do by crossing your bobby pins over. I feel like we should call this look hashtag hashtag. <laughs> Anyway, for the next look, I am just using the spray wax to keep one side of my hair down, and I have six bobby pins in gradient colors, and I am just going to be creating a chevron shape. So all you have to do is insert your bobby pins at an angle, and they will lock into each other, and I like starting with the lightest color first, and then moving down into the darkest color. And this is the chevron bobby pin design. So for our last look, we're going to be doing a triangle. So I'm starting off with the center part for this one, just to switch things up but a side part works too. Then I'm just gonna pull back the front two sections of my hair, secure them in the back with a bobby pin going straight across, and we have the base of our triangle. From here you just have to create the sides of the triangle by inserting the last two bobby pins at an angle, and that is pretty much it. So now it's time for some bobby pin hacks. Did you know you can actually use your bobby pins as a bookmark? So you just have to link two of your bobby pins together, kind of like we did for the chevron look, and then you can clip them onto a page and you'll have an instant bookmark. The next thing I like to do with my bobby pins is use them for chip bags or cookies or whatever because I never have proper clips. But have no fear guys, bobby pins are here. They are here to save us all. You can also put a bobby pin on your toothpaste when it's running low to make sure that your toothpaste stays at the top so that way you can easily squeeze it out. And last but not least, you can use an empty mint container to keep your bobby pins safe from the bobby pin stealing fairies. That is I hit my tree. <laughs> that is gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you try out any of these cool little bobby pin styles yourself, or if you come up with your own, I wanna see your photos, so make sure you send them in on Twitter and Instagram. And if you're looking for even more hair tutorials and tips, make sure you check out allthingshair.com. I'm gonna get going. If you wanna watch my last two videos, they're gonna be right here. You can just click on one of the boxes and I'm just gonna do the little shimmy dance here while I wait for you to click. But if you don't wanna click, you can just watch me being strange. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Have an awesome day. I love you. Bye. Just being weird. <laughs>